Erica, and we talked to the spokesperson for the Allied Pilots Association tonight in light of a tragic crash over the weekend involving the 737 MAX 8. He says concerns stem from what he says was a lack of information that Boeing gave to pilots about the new plane going back to when they first hit the market. Well, absolutely it has our attention. American Airlines pilot and union spokesperson Dennis Tager says he's not alone in wanting to know what caused Ethiopian Flight 302 to crash Sunday, killing 157. The crash tragic, but it's also the second crash of the same type of plane, a Boeing 737 MAX 8, in less than five months. Our pilots are human beings as well, so we're trying to connect dots and see if there's anything related to this. In October, a Lions Air 737 MAX 8 crashed off Indonesia, killing all 189 people on board. The Boeing plane's only been flown since 2017. And Tasia says the October crash raised concerns about differences in the 737 MAX 8's operational functions compared to other Boeing jets. Boeing, unfortunately, did not provide us information about an important automated system. So since then, we've provided that information and that automated system now can be controlled. The weekend crash prompted a handful of airlines around the world to ground the 737 MAX 8s. The planes are part of American and Southwest Airlines fleets here. In separate statements, both American and Southwest reps say they're monitoring the Ethiopian investigation but will not ground the planes in the U.S., adding they have full confidence in the 737 MAX 8 safety. Should American and Southwest be doing the same? Well, we're watching that. Other countries have different standards and knowledge base of the aircraft. And based on our knowledge base, our pilots are comfortable and feel content that the aircraft is safe to fly. But this tragedy occurred just as the spring travel season is heating up. Travel industry insiders tell us airlines are now rebooking some 737 MAX 8 flights to different planes as a precaution. I think there will be a ripple effect here. I really do. I mean, if they start grounding planes other, other places, they're going to want to do the same thing. In the meantime, Tasier says pilots will now get more 737 MAX 8 training. We've talked to American Airlines about the additional training. As a matter of fact, American just informed us that they have simulators coming uh, uh, to delivery for us uh, so that we can train in the actual uh, simulators. Whether pilot training overseas or lack of it had any role in either of these crashes as part of the ongoing investigations. Tonight, a Boeing spokesperson said in a statement that it has teams headed overseas along with other U.S. investigators to try and determine a cause. We're live outside Boeing headquarters in downtown Chicago. Dana Koswald, CBS 2 News. Erica. Okay, Dana, thank you.